Hi, welcome. This video demonstrates how to set up your first server, something that can be done in seconds. I've made a free trial account. If you make one, it will work exactly the same way for you. As you can see, we have many data centers all around the world. This particular account is in our Amsterdam data center, so I'll choose that one. Here, the control panel is where you carry out the majority of your tasks, creating a server, stopping it, starting it, etc. To create a new server, click Add and choose Server. You can choose a pre-installed server or install from a CD. You can also upload your own install CD if you wish. Here's the list. You can see the pre-installed options. Here I'll go with a pre-installed Ubuntu server. The free trial allows 20 gigabytes of storage, but I'll allocate 10 gigabytes here to this drive. I could allocate the whole thing to one drive or split the resources between multiple servers. Notice, by the way, that we have an option to use Solid State Disk, or SSD. That's not included with the trial account, it's premium storage. But for those of you wanting high I.O. servers, that's exactly the way to go. Alright, so here's the server. It's just imaging out of the disk, which will take a short while. You can see that the server box is next to the disk box for the attached disk. Controls for the server and the disk are in each box, as well as all the numbers describing each one. Now that the disk image is completed, we can start it with the green start button in the server box. And there it is. See the color change? Now we can see it has a start time and an IP address allocated. We can make our initial connection to the server by clicking on show screen here. By the way, this in-browser viewer only works with the most modern browsers. We recommend Google's Chrome. Alternatively, you can connect by using your own VNC viewer, such as Tight VNC with the VNC password shown here. Since this is a Linux server, you can also connect over SSH as user TOUR, that's T-O-O-R, using the VNC password as well. A Windows server needs to be set up on the VNC, or show screen console, with admin passwords, but can then be reached using tools like RDP, Remote Desktop Connection. Why don't you try it for yourself? If you haven't signed up for a free trial in any of our data center locations around the world, please visit www.elastichosts.com. Thanks for watching. We've got other video tutorials on the website. If you'd like to learn more, please go to the tutorials section.